canine cart cheese kept being eaten. That this too was special treat. Happy dogs are those to eat. And he said canine crunchies. Yep, they, that's right. You hear here, folks. They want canine crunchies. Part of this complete doggy breakfast. Canine crunchies. And we're back, folks. We're going to be talking about German Shepherds. They are in the herding group. It's the only herding group we must have. Here we are. Next, we have Bruce, a rough and tough-looking German Shepherd who is always ready to herd and ready to protect people out there. Let's take a look at his trans. He is brutal by Bruce's violent puppies. Look at him go. Yeah, he is ready for some danger and some, some saving, too. And next we have his we have a little one who needs no introduction. He is so cute and so fluffy. Look at him, folks. Isn't he just wonderful? Yeah, he has got the cute German Shepherd look. That's for sure. And this one's a little too rough and tough, I have to say, right? Yep, that is number one. That is our... That was only one German Shepherd who was rough and tough and ready to go. Ooh, he's a little rusty, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he's not, he's not as spicy as Snoopy or as Daisy or as Pluto. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know, folks. He's super cute, but they're not too enough. They're not as cute and rough as Bruce. Ah, so Bruce is the winner for the for the herding group. Best in herding group show. Wow, that was easy. Indeed. That was very easy. He's just a perfect match and perfect blend. I like him. Sure do, folks. And welcome back. Next, we're going to do the most classic dogs of all, the Dalmatians. From the non-sporting group. And here they are. First, we have Spato, a very talented, energetic puppy. Very smart, friends with Taylor, and a really good thunderbark with superpowers powers like, like of every kind. He is definitely the powerful, talented dog you need. Oh, he is so smart, so talented, so cute, and very good. Yeah. Next, we have Swirl. Oh, look at him. He has nice and swirly buttons all over him. With nice and spots all over, he is definitely one for the swirls. Yeah, I like swirly and colorful puppies. Me too. Uh, not me all too much, but I still like him fine enough. Next, we have Lobo, cute Boo. Aw, he is just our Boo with the heart of gold and... Heart of Life and Valentine's Day Dog. Let's read about more about him. Boo. I'll hold my breath till I turn blue. Unless I get in to go with you, I'll tell you a big secret too about something you never knew. My birthday is February 10th. Aww. So cute. He definitely likes to hold his breath. <gasps> Don't do it literally. Phew. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Aw. Next, we got Texter. OMG, folks. I am here at the Super uh, Amanda's National Dog Show. OMG. I hope I win a, a, a Texter. Um, would you mind getting off the phone for a minute? OMG, the judges is really talking to me. Um, um, hi. Um, oh my god. OMG, I can't, I can't believe I'm here to see you. Oh, we're getting such BFFs. Uh, thanks, Texter, but it looks like you're on the phone a lot. Um, let's, let's see. What are your talents? Texting, texting, and more texting. OMG, I am so ready to do it. Um, maybe you can, um, TJIF talk to you later? Uh, yes, of course. Um, What's, um, what, your strands? Lisa, of course, look at my texting strands. It is so potty. I mean, we meant your actual strands. Oh, of course. Hmm. Texter? I'm afraid we don't know if you're best in show. 
I mean, like, you're you're just texting. You're not really the kind of dog that we like to see. We want to see full of energy and talented dogs. Oh, this is a non-sporting group, isn't it? Well, yes, it is. But we also like to have ones that are comfort us when we're down. I like to say and hang out. Oh, but I'd rather have my phone and my friends on my phone instead. That's our point. Oh. Ha! <laughs> LOL, you guys are hilarious. Okay. Next, we have Pansy. Oh, isn't he cute, folks? He's also very talented, too, but going into the flowers, being erratic, and love acting. Oh, very talented indeed. That Pansy. Isn't he cute? I just love him. Yeah, he's like, he's just like my dog, Snoopy. He's not that much like Daisy, but he sure is cute with those flowers. Yeah, I agree. Next, very last, and very not least, Astro. The cutest little puppy in the entire world. Aww, he is one of Spotto's little farm puppies. Look at him. Isn't he cute with his strand? Aww, he just flies and soars across the sky. He just flies around all day long. That's why his name is Astro. He's like Daisy in that way. I love space dogs. Yup, I sure do too. Me too. Okay, we'll talk it over on who should win. And the winner is Pansy! <gasps> Me? Really? Pansy, you are the cutest and the most smartest and talented. You are all those things in one. You beat out Spotted because you're way more cuter than he is and way much more talented. You're all those things mashed into one. Congratulations! Yeah! You won the Dalmatian group. Now go up against the French Bulldogs. As we go on to the next event. Look, the British Bulldogs. <laughs> British Bulldogs, come right down. Tansy, you'll be up against these guys right here. Actually, got this dog right here. He doesn't look much, really. Yeah. He's straight and all. Let's look at his strands. Okay, I guess. Yeah. He's cute and fluffy, but not too much. Yeah, same here. Same here. Next, we have a talented Arthur. Arthur is definitely talented with his singing. Oh! opera abilities he is definitely one to hang out with with a super cutest comforting ability he will definitely do a Broadway show for you that's for sure look at that strand he's working out pretty well for exercising and acting that's for sure my dog does a lot of acting mm, not much with me mine either but mine does and he's worth a look at for this dog Next, we got a yipper over here who makes his cute talk seem worthy enough. He strives out too much to look at when you look at his doggy form. He barks. Eh. Barking's not much to people, but hey, it's worth something. He didn't stand much either. Next, we have lovable and cute Easter doggy with his little ears and everything. He just loves to give people carrots. Here's a carrot for you. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, well, he's not as nice as Snoopy is. Yeah, he's not much, but he's worth something. Yeah. 
We all like Easter, but he doesn't have enough strands either. Yeah. And the winner is... Arthur! <gasps> now you two will be, will be sporting for the thing group. Now and the winner is... With talented and great looks... Pansy, you are the winner of the Snot Sporting Group. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm a part of the Snot Sporting Group? you am best in show? Yes, you are. I never thought I'd get this far. Oh my gosh. Aww. Means the rest of you needs to go. And we'll be right back after these messages. As a sporting dog like me, as a wrestling dog, I make a mess all the time. But when I get Thunderbark Super Free Spray, it works. It cleans up the doggy tough stains everywhere. Really? Everywhere? Everywhere! Clean it up with the Super Thunderbark Spray. Get it now. And we're back, folks. Back on another Dog Show National Championship. We are back with the Rottweilers. We're going to be in the, the working group as we decide who's going to win. First, we got Brutus. He is a Rottweiler, as you can see. And he's a rough, rough, rough Rottweiler with his strength, his abilities. He can wrestle anyone in the championship. Wow, talented indeed. There's no question here, folks. Yeah, he's rough and tough. Ready to go and cute and abilities with, with Caesar. He is definitely one of the dogs. Let's look at that strands of his. Wow! And that's great for pouncing, too. That's correct, folks. When his strand happens, he struts until he wins the wrestling championship. What a dog. Next, we have a cute little one right here. And his name is... Dobie. Dobie's a cute little guy with a dopey little look. Aw, he's not as cute, but he's still okay in me. Yeah, not the best, but still relatively cute. Aw, well, you gotta be cute and lovable at the same time. And that goes for you, Brute! Yeah, Brute to the win! Well, Brute, let's see if you can beat the rest with the St. Bernards, the most toe-making people of the group. First, we got the starring doggy of the audience is Artie, who is playing Dr. S in Amanda's new movie, The Sems Hospital. Look how caring he is and his look and well-being. Aww. What a talented strand. He is ready to save people and take care of people. Aw, come here, little guy. Aww. Oh, I love him. Yeah, he is definitely one to help out. Make everyone happy with this dog right away. And then we got Yodels. He is big and lovable. He is so huge and colorful too. Whoa! <laughs> wow, hold it. <laughs> happy is a warm puppy, isn't it, folks? He sure is a happy one for the folks. He's definitely more comfortable than, than our Addy over here. I think there's no questions asked. Yoles, you're the winner. Oh, sorry. You can't deny it. He is talented and big and little at the same time. Or, oh, or, oh, no, wait. Shh. Oops. Well, I guess Brutus wins here, folks, since Yoles is way too big. Mm. Congratulations, Brutus. You have won the working group. Next. And welcome back to another dog show event. Here are the dogs. Next, we have the Westies as they compete for best in show. And here they are. First, we have Bailey from the present. FDR. He has met of himself, and he is definitely his dog, for sure. Professional and ability strength is good for this dog. 
comforting and sweet. He's definitely one. Look at that strain he's doing. Yeah, he's just as cute as Daisy. Not as good as Pluto. Not as good as Snoopy, but good enough. Cuting look. Next, we have Callie. Or Cody. I think it's Cody. But either way, he is cute and lovable, and we just love him. Except the one time he bit us. But that's not, that's not to say that he's not cute enough. Just look at him. He's definitely worth winning, and he can do sports and lots of fun with every dog imaginable. Oh, wow, he's got it good. Yeah, he sure does, with Daisy and Pluto and many others with Snoopy as well. Next, we have Presents. Presents. He is a Christmas dog with a Christmas gold of heart. His strength is pretty good, too, with that look. He is definitely a cute little doggy for Christmas. When you want to bring home for warmth and cold on Christmas night. And they definitely won for me. But I don't like him that much considering he's not really much of a hurting dog type. But he's good enough. Next we have Callie. Who's a cute little girl, cute little girl one with lots of sisters involved. And lots and lots of webkin strength. She was the first made as first webkins to ever be found. Wow, good for her. Yeah, it's warm. She's cute. She was lovable. Has a great stance. Beautiful. Next, we have the cute little Farley. Aw, look at him. Aw. He's also a really nice sporting dog, too. He's very talented. He can ski. He can be friends with Alex all the time he needs to be. And he's very small. Oh, he is definitely the cutest. I think he deserves a win. Yeah, for sure. We'll talk it over. And the winner of the wet of the Westing of the Westie competition is Farley. <gasps> you're cute and you're little and you're full of talented. Go sit down. You are part of the Westie group. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Now I'm gonna put you right next. You're gonna put you right next to Russell. Now, which will it be? We'll talk it over. Congratulations, Barley. You are the winner of the Terrier Group. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you. You are Westy Terrier, and you win. Sorry, Russell. Better off next time.